Good Monday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on on the radar uh, around the country. So we've got high pressure in place that'll keep us dry today. There is this one little disturbance that's moving through the central part of the country, uh, right through Oklahoma and areas in the central portion of the country that will move through uh, during the early morning hours tomorrow, and it could provide us with a chance for uh, some isolated shower activity during the morning hours and, and right around the beginning of the afternoon. So I've got a 20% chance of rain in the forecast for tomorrow, uh, but you know we'll see, it's it's pretty weak disturbance. This next one here though, that's moving into the, uh, onto the West Coast over in Oregon, Washington State, uh, down into California, this system will track across the country as we move through the week. And by Thursday into Friday, this system could bring us the chance for a wintry mix. And it's just a talking point right now. We'll have more details on that as we go through um, the next couple of days when the model data becomes clearer. But as of right now, there is a possibility we could see a wintry mix Thursday into Friday. You have to remember, we live in the Southeast, so nothing is for sure at this point with the uh, potential that uh, there's still several days to go and the timing is there, or you know, the timing could change things and fluctuate it to where we could end up with just a cold rain. But trends are starting to favor a wintry mix. So we'll keep an eye on it and keep you updated. There are some little isolated rain showers and, and few isolated snow showers in the mountains right now. Those will not make it here uh, at all today. Again, we've got high pressure that'll be in place that will keep us dry as we go through the day today. And we'll continue to keep you updated on that. Let's take a quick break and we'll come back and give you the uh, five day forecast as well as weather impacts for today. And we'll talk more about that wintering mix opportunity as well. When you're ready to travel, let's give it another go. The five-day forecast and the, winter, uh, the weather impacts are sponsored by several sponsors. We'll talk about the weather impacts first. Patterson Farms Incorporated sponsors the weather impacts. The 2021 all-season passes are on sale now. There's a code valid through February 28th where you can get $20 off the all-season pass, and that promo code is FARMLOVE. If you utilize that promo code, again, you'll get $20 off the all-season pass. This gives you unlimited visits to the farm uh, throughout the 2021 season, and there are a lot of things that happen out at Patterson Farm throughout the year, so certainly a great opportunity there to get more details. Details on that, you can visit pattersonfarm.com forward slash all season pass. Or if you're looking to check that out later uh, and you can't remember that website address, just head over to the Rowan County Weather.com and this banner will be at the top of the home page. You can click on the banner and it will take you directly to the Patterson Farm website for all the details on the 2021 all season passes. Today we'll see partly sunny skies this morning with gradual clearing as we move through the day, increasing clouds by this evening. Five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather, and they will give you $25 off your first-time service call. Today, we'll see partly sunny skies during the morning. We'll, we'll gradually clear out as we get through the day and have partly cloudy skies by this evening. The high will be 50, the low of 32. On Tuesday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies during the day with a high of 51. There's a 20% chance of an isolated shower in there. And again, that disturbance that'll be moving through is pretty, pretty dry, it's pretty weak, but can't rule out the chance we could see an isolated shower. I think our best chances are right around midday on Tuesday with any rain chances there. We'll see mostly clear skies on Tuesday evening with a low of 30. On Wednesday, we'll see sunny skies high of 50 degrees with most or with partly cloudy skies by Wednesday evening and a low of 30. And then as we head into Thursday, that's where that next front will be coming through that could give us the chance for a wintry mix. So we'll keep an eye on it. And we're gonna to continue to talk about it over the next few days. And we'll provide you more details as we get closer to the end of the week. 
But as, as for now, we've got partly sunny skies during the day on Thursday with a high of 50. We'll see a 50% chance of a wintery mix during the overnight hours of Thursday to Friday. Uh, I'd say starts out as all rain probably around 9, 10 p.m. Thursday evening. And then as the temperatures drop during the overnight, uh, cold air will get cold aloft as well, which could transition that over to snow. We'll see. Again, uh, the, the timing for it is favorable for the fact that we'll be in the overnight hours and the temperatures will be cooler. And there is some cold air that's coming through with that front as well that's going to help it out. Uh, so again, we'll see a low of 34 on Thursday evening. Friday morning, we could see that wintery mix again. Uh, and then as we head into the morning hours and uh, start to go into the the daytime hours, we could see that transition back over to uh, cold rain uh, as we head into through the morning and daytime. We'll see a high of 40 degrees. I've got a 60% chance of that wintery mix into rain on Friday morning. And then by Friday evening, we'll see mostly clear skies and cold with a low of 28. Again, there are several days here that uh, we're going to go through and a lot can change, uh, especially with the fact that you know, we walk a fine line in the southeast of whether you get all rain or all snow or you get a mix. As of right now, conditions are favoring that mix. So we'll continue to keep an eye on it. We'll make you aware of what's going to happen as we head through the week. We'll certainly provide uh, accumulation possibilities as we go through the week as well. But as of now, like I said, it's simply just a talking point. And uh, conditions do favor the chance that we could see a wintery mix Thursday night during the overnight hours into Friday morning and then transitioning to a cold rain uh, to end everything out. So we'll certainly keep an eye on it. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, visit us on our website at www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow us and like us on our social media pages, which are Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can also check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. That's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16, and we'll certainly keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Monday. We'll continue to keep you updated on the chances for an isolated shower on Tuesday and the possibility of the wintery mix uh, Thursday into Friday. Uh, again, there's still plenty of time, but we'll see what happens. As always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather. Have a great Monday, everybody.